the Beard Club Derma Roller, we're coming in with it. We're going to be trying it out. We've got a lot of hair, but we're going to have a lot more hair. And one of the big requirements is that we're going to shave. I can't wait. Most people getting Derma Rollers are a bit patchy in their beards. I don't have too much patch, but I do want to see the difference. So we're going to be going through that in this video. So don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. And in your box, you'll get your Derma Roller as well as the roller cover. You'll also get your user manual, double-sided with instructions. A first impression Derma Roller's got a really thick handle, real nice feel good way. It's got a plastic double-sided magnetic cover. Flips back on. And you got the Derma Roller coming in with a whopping 540 titanium coated 0.3 millimeter micro needles. Now hold on, there are a few steps before using this. You do want to sanitize and make sure you got your face clean. You do want to also shave as much as possible. Get it down to the bare skin because the more space you have for your skin to show, the more pores that are going to be able to be targeted with this microdermal needle. If you don't know what this thing does, it basically makes a whole bunch of holes in your face, making micro needle incisions, which then allows hair follicles that are trapped under your skin to surface, which will help Help fill your beard in. Now when you're not using, put that top and bottom back on to keep it clean and safe. Also to keep the needles straight. You don't want to bend any of them. That just doesn't sound fun. I don't want to go any further. Your equipment manifest goes A, derma roller, B, magnetic head guard lid, and C, magnetic head guard base. And when it comes to instructions, they say we're not going to do this more than twice weekly. Step one, cleanse your skin. We need to start with a clean surface, so thoroughly wash the desired area, rinse thoroughly, and pat dry. Step two, sanitize the roller. Spray the beard club derma roller cleanser. Spray all over the tiny needles and then rinse off with water before use. Step three, treat desired area. Identify the desired area to treat and be sure to avoid sensitive areas, including near your eyes. Vertical passes. Lifting the roller head away from your skin after each pass, roll the desired area vertical six times, applying moderate pressure. Horizontal passes. Lifting the roller head away from your skin after each pass, roll the desired area horizontally six times, applying moderate pressure. Step four, rinse and let rest. After completing the passes, rinse the treated area with water. Steer clear of anything that might irritate the skin, especially within the first 24 hours following treatment. Irritants can include cosmetic products, swimming pools, saunas, and excessive sweat. And the final step five is to sanitize the roller, just like you did at the start of the session. Spray the Beard Club Derma Roller Cleanser Spray all over the tiny needles and then rinse off with water. Using the provided cover, put away and store your Derma Roller to prevent any damage. And they got a warning on the back. Using the Derma Roller more frequently than recommended can cause skin irritation and even scarring, failing to properly clean the unit before after each use can cause infection. If irritation persists, you should see a dermatologist. Make sure you take this pretty seriously and they have a tip maximizing lifetime. We made this cool magnetic cover that is fun to play with, but it is also functional. It helps protect the needles from physical damage and dust between uses, so make sure you store the roller in it. In addition to sanitizing, you can clean the roller if you see any kind of buildup over time. Just swish the roller around in a container of soapy water, being careful not to damage the needle once cleaned, rinse with water. Now, one of my top tips for using this derma roller is to use it in the mirror. I'm trying to use it in this camera and it's really not that good. You should make sure you have proper lighting and a mirror so you can do this without having any harm to your skin and having the optimal effects from the derma roller. One other piece of equipment that could be helpful is the TheraBody face mask, which will help with building collagen and repairing the areas that you're using these microderma needles on. It is a bit of a stretch. It's an expensive piece of hardware, but it could help you and it's in the description below. Now we'll be back with another video from Beard Club going over the Derma Roller once we have a bit of a result change. It'll probably be a couple months. If you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, become a member, help support the work that I do here. Now we'll be back with another video from Beard Club going over the Derma Roller once we have a bit of a result change. It'll probably be a couple months, so we'll, then we'll do more advanced stuff in that next video. If you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, become a member, help support the work that I do here. If you want to support the channel further and want to get some of these tapestries, dust mats, or t-shirts, or bandanas, or the desk mats or any of the other stuff that we have in our 3d print shop go check out puffpro.etsy.com thanks for hanging out and checking out the video put your comments below if you have any questions and i will catch you guys in the next one stay elevated and peace out